Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey, hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And over the years, we've really gotten to see a lot of actors who are in the Marvel Cinematic Universe grow and evolve over time. But one thing we really appreciate, especially with the new Disney Plus show, The Falcon and Winter Soldier, is seeing these two actors who've been in the MCU for such a long time take on a new step and a new role that furthers their characters even more. But it's even more interesting when you take a look back in the context of their overall acting careers, like for instance, Sebastian Stan or Anthony Mackie. Looking back at where they started to where they are now is something that's incredibly interesting. And we wanted to take a look back through these two actors' histories as being actors to see really how they've evolved over time and see the different types of roles they jumped in. So to start off, we wanted to look at Sebastian Stan, who actually, very early on in 1994, had a small role in a project called 71 Fragments of a Chronology of Chance. Now after that role, Sebastian Stan didn't actually take on any acting roles until he was a bit older, coming around in the early 2000s with a very small role or a minor role in a Law & Order episode. My dad didn't kill anyone. You see? Nothing to squeeze. Actually, Justin, we know you helped your father kill those people. Hold on. I'm still back on my client saying his dad didn't kill anyone. Then why did your client write the notes we found at the scene? However, Sebastian Stan would continue to act after this role, picking up smaller roles over the years, but one big role he landed right before joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe was in the television series Gossip Girl, where he had a returning character who would come on every couple of episodes during the third season. Well, you've seen me. Now you can go. We need to talk. No, we don't. Mm, I know what you're doing. You can't avoid what happened forever. Watch me. Oh no! It's actually really interesting seeing Sebastian Stan talk about this project, and even nowadays he still looks back at this project in a really interesting and unique way. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I had some wild times for sure. Okay. You know, I nothing out of the ordinary, but you know. I mean, you were on Gossip Girl, so I imagine that oh, like yes. Remember that? <laughs> so I imagine that that had How to be. How can I forget? A cra that had to be crazy for you though, because that was like the that show. was wild for yeah. sure. That was wild, and you know, like I, I mean, uh, Chase was a really good friend, mm -hmm. obviously. Like, and and I met him around twenty twenty one. He was I think nineteen when I met him. Oh wow. Then of course we actually know that Sebastian Stan auditioned for the role of Captain America himself and they decided to move him to the role of Bucky Barnes and that would later roll into the character that we know and love today. But it is interesting seeing him play this character from the very first Captain America movie and to remember that this is also an actor who's put time into the MCU much like a lot of the other bigger actors in the MCU. He's been there almost since the very beginning. It is interesting to see his perspective on the character in an interview all the way back when the movie released, and it is interesting to kind of see how he looks at his character, especially now knowing what we know now as to where that character ended up going and what ended up happening for the future roles. Because it seems like he's trying to, he's toying with the idea of, my god, I've never been a wingman. <laughs> oh, who, Steve or me? Or my, or my, yeah. my character? Yeah, no, but. I don't think he thinks of himself as a wingman. I think he thinks of himself much more as a leader. But, you know, obviously that's the funny thing, because later on when suddenly you're like, I guess maybe I'm a wingman now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> 
And now, of course, we can appreciate seeing Sebastian Stan on the Falcon and Winter Soldier Disney Plus show. And we're really excited to see more of this character into the future because honestly, he does such a great job with the role. On the other side of things, we can look at Anthony Mackie, who is definitely a funny actor and seems to really enjoy his time on set and in interviews and whatnot. But looking at the course of his career, it's really cool just to see everything he's been involved in. One thing that's interesting is when he was a Juilliard student, he was in a musical play type project that ended up becoming really big. And it's cool to hear Anthony Mackie reflect on that project as a big turning point in his career. Like, there's no reason for me not to like you. Like, you're a cool dude. Like, I like you. I was like, I like you too. He's like, cool, so you don't mind if I like add some stuff in the script about you? I was like, well, about me or about the character? He's like, no, 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 just add some stuff in the script. Like, you know, just side character stuff. I'm like, yeah, no problem. He then was brought on as an antagonist character for the movie Eight Mile, starring Eminem, which was really interesting because he plays a character called Papa Doc, who originally had a small role, but they slowly evolved his role over time, and he kind of ended up being this main antagonist that Eminem's character had to overcome. I was at Juilliard, and my friend Michael Devell Wynn was writing a play called Up Against the Wind, and the play was about Tupac. I played Tupac, it was amazing. We did it at Juilliard, crushed it. Jim Nicola from uh, New York Theater Workshop came to see the play, said, this is great, I wanna move this off Broadway. So, he takes it, my senior year at Juilliard, we do Up Against the Wind at New York Theater Workshop. Massive hit. A little later on in his career, another really underrated role that Anthony Mackie had was in the film We Are Marshall, which is actually based on a true story of a college football team that tragically died in a plane accident. And Anthony Mackie played one of the football players who did not die in the accident who was not traveling with the team because he had an injury. And you just see a lot of emotion played by Anthony Mackie, who's able to kind of portray those feelings. And it really helps drive the narrative. And it really underlines why Anthony Mackie is such an underrated actor. Hey, I'm not questioning your courage or, or, or your drive, okay? My shoulder's fine. This shoulder. It's ready to take the field? Mm hmm It's ready for hits? My shoulder's fine. Yes or no? My shoulder's fine. This one? Yeah. That one? Take hits like that? My shoulder's fine. It'll be a lot hotter than that, Nate. Oh, my shoulder's fine. Then, of course, Anthony Mackie joined up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe when the second Captain America movie came out with Captain America the Winter Soldier and the Falcon was kind of introduced. And alongside that, we see not only Anthony Mackie step into a big role, but a role that had a lot of potential for the future. And it's cool to see how he went from being this character that's loyal to a fault to Captain America to being one who's expected to hold the shield. It'll be interesting to see how that story continues to play out in The Falcon and Winter Soldier and what it could mean for the future. My brother had crates and crates of comic books and he used to beat me up because I would rip his comic books up. And that was it. So when I found out about The Falcon, when I got the opportunity to meet with Joe and Anthony Russo and uh, Nate Moore, um, at some random weird hotel in LA by the pool eating Cobb salad, which who knew what Cobb salad was at that time? Uh, it, was, it was a great experience. Now, of course, besides Anthony Mackie being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's been in a ton of other projects along the way, showing up in Black Mirror and even starring in Altered Carbon for the second season. From planet to planet, solar system to solar system, if you can pay enough, you can have an upgraded, better sleep. Right. Or if you want a security guard who's like, in this season, I'm a gadget, wizard, kung fu, karate killer with magnetic killer style. So, <laughs> that's why. When you watch it, you're gonna say that dude got magnetic killer style. It's really cool to see the diverse roles that Anthony Mackie has played over the years. I'm more excited to see more from the future. So what do you guys think of these two actors? Are you excited for this Disney Plus show? Have you enjoyed what we've seen so far? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and notifications on for more videos like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.